So this is the street view for the Country Breeze, I'm sorry, Sleepy Bay Boulevard, which is Country Breeze Estates home. Um, it is down here in a cul-de-sac. So again, you're not gonna see a lot of through traffic, which is really great. There are the sidewalks, which is really nice for uh, anybody who likes to run or walk. So you've got that great ability to rent it out and families. Um, this home definitely needs some TLC. Um, I know the owners are getting ready to put in a new HVAC unit, which is a great savings. But as you can see, we've got some um, foliage going up the side of the house. It's growing into the soffits. And even though the roof is not a three tab, it does not look like a newer roof. And there's some rusting on the soffits and the fascia of the roof. Or I'm sorry, on the, the edge of the house, if you can see that there. Definitely could use some sprucing up in the landscaping, as you can see. There are some cracks in the tile, and a lot of the times that's just cosmetic, but I do like to point that out. So when you first walk into the house, you've got a nice, large, open living area here. And as you walk through, you've got the dining area here. It's pretty good size. And then the kitchen. So it does have a breakfast bar, as you can see right here with a backsplash, definitely needs some TLC and updating. Got a pantry area in here. So it's a walk-in pantry, you've got shelving on either side. Over this way, you have the master bedroom. And it's a good size master bedroom. I've seen this floor plan before. Um, I believe this is a good home. I have to double check, you know, because again, it was built in the early 90s. But a uh, king size bed definitely can be accommodated in here. You've got your master bathroom here. So you've got a double sink vanity and then the shower tub combo as well. And then over here, we have a walk-in closet, so a good size closet. Even though there's not two, this one is definitely good in size. With some new shelving and stuff, I think it would be able to accommodate a lot of personal belongings. Through here, we have our garage. I'm sorry, this is the laundry room that leads to the garage. So you've got a good size here. Your washer and dryer would go on this side, and then on this side, you could actually probably put some more shelving to store items. So here is the actual garage. It's a little dark in here. But they've already got some shelving built in. Got the pull down for the attic. So through here, like I said, the house definitely needs some TLC, some cleaning, there's some cobwebs, but that's nothing major. I don't see any wet stains in the ceiling. Back through the living room, um, the additional bedrooms are on this side of the home. So you have, here's your HVAC, which again is being replaced, which is good. It looks like this one has had some leaking. This is the additional bathroom in here. Now this is a single vanity, but I will say if you're gonna update it, I would recommend doing a double vanity. It's really popular on resale or rental to have that double vanity in case they have one or more children. Bedroom here. Pretty large in size. And then an additional front bedroom here. Again, these are really nice size. And then at the end of the hallway, we have a nice linen closet here. So let's go take a look at the backyard, which is over on this side of the house. And this lot is uh, just at a quarter acre. So you got a pretty decent sized yard here, which is great for kids. Um, we can figure out how to get this open. Okay. 
So you got a nice little patio here. We still have some stuff in the yard, but they're gonna be cleaning that up. Nice trees in the backyard. The house is all brick. It's really quiet back here, which is really nice. But again, you can just see that resting on the soffit and fascia of the house. That would definitely need to be addressed. Um, don't know if insurance would be a problem on the front end of things, but it could be an issue after closing to have our new roof. So that would just be the expectation to either ask for a new roof or to have that expectation up front of replacing it not long after closing. Or you could always use the VA renovation loan as well. So that is it for the home on Sleepy Bay. Um, really cute house, definitely needs some cosmetic upgrading, but overall in good shape, I think, um, with a home inspection. Um, could be a potential uh, property for you and on the rental market.